Welcome to a very special Christmas episode of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. It is episode 97. When today we're going to talk about all the negativity in the world, why giving is physiologically proven to be better than receiving, and we're also going to talk about how to compliment a competitor. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. Okay, the moment of clarity this week has to do with getting together with family because it's the holiday season and everybody gets together with family and people they haven't seen in a long time, which means there's a lot of joy. It also means there can be a lot of tension. And the moment of clarity is this, is that you have the opportunity to decide to treat that situation differently than you ever have before, especially if it's a tough situation. You have the opportunity right now Today, the next time they come over, you have a conversation to be a little forgiving and to exhibit a little bit of grace and maybe practice a little empathy. And it's in your control to make that relationship better. So I hope that you use that moment of clarity to make a relationship better. That's it. It's the holiday season. Well, let's go. I'm so excited for what he's going to show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's pick. This week for Paul's pick, it is a Christmas album. And why shouldn't it be a Christmas album? Because it's the Christmas episode. My favorite Christmas album as of late is Lauren Daigle's Christmas album. What's it actually called? Behold. Lauren Daigle, Behold, a Christmas collection. It is one of the most tasteful and soulful Christmas albums I've ever heard. And I can't get enough of it. I listen to it on repeat. So check it out. It's the holidays. You have Spotify or Apple Music or Amazon Music. Lauren Daigle, she's spelled D-A-I-G-L-E. Lauren Daigle, called Behold. I hope you check it out. That's my pick for this week. Well, if you're listening to this one, it is received. It is Christmas Eve. I hope you're listening to this from home. I do know that some of you are still working. You have work today, work a half day. Um, or work most of the day for uh, most of my career thus far. I have worked um, most of Christmas Eve day. Just it's it's been a grind. It's been a hustle. This week I'm doing some. This year I'm doing something different, and I'm taking all of Christmas week off. I've been pushing so stinking hard this year that um, I need a break, and more importantly, my family needs some together time. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I. Right now, Christmas Eve, I'm enjoying the day off with my family, but I wanted to make sure I got this in and got it ready to launch because there's just so much negativity in the world today. I mean, we're just getting through a bunch of political stuff or getting through. I wish we were getting through it. Um, It's a total circus. It's just a total circus. And you can't go... I've been in airports a lot over the last few weeks, and it's just like, oh, it's mind-numbing and depressing, frankly, And so this week I wanted to do something different and try to sow a little bit of positivity into our culture and into our world and our professional circle, because most of you listening to this podcast are either professionals or have um, professional aspirations to start businesses or to advance in your career. And so I want to do that. Um, But first, in order to frame that up, I wanted to share something with you. about some research that came out of the Harvard Business School. And here, I'm going to read it. Okay, so researchers from Harvard Business School and the University of British Columbia found that in the standardized assessment of individuals who both gave and received money, that's in the the way of the light, who gave and received money, greater happiness appeared to rest in those who gave. You knew I was going to say gave, didn't you? Fascinatingly, one aspect of their work demonstrated that among employees who received bonuses, those who made a charitable donation with the bonus were measurably happier. And furthermore, the happiness persisted for a longer period of time compared to those who didn't give. So it's truly better to give than it is to receive, not just in principle, but also in fact when it comes to how you feel and the reward that it has. If you just ask all the time, receive some business, can I receive some business? Can I receive some attention? Can I, right? Nobody wants to talk to you. (laughs) But if you give, actually it starts to contribute and funny thing, 
you do start to receive. I'm not saying give to get. I'm saying give to give. But the getting actually does come with it when it's authentic and it's genuine. Now, that's when I want to shift to my, my, my next point here. The professional world is very competitive. And it should be, right? Competition breeds excellence. Excellence goes rewarded, right? That's like capitalism at its most foundational principle. So we're competitive, right? And we should be. Like as a person, I have to compete more and fight harder to win the business. And I have to be faster and stronger and bring more value than the other people, right? It's capitalism. That's how it works. But that doesn't mean that I still can't be giving. That doesn't mean that I still can't be like a worthy competitor and opponent. Because I know sometimes it feels like the stakes are so high so we compete really hard. But we're still all human. We're still all trying to provide for our families. We're still all trying to do our very best to serve people and to, you know, make the life that we want to make via our talents and our abilities and our competitiveness. I think one one lesson that I learned this year about the healthy nature of competition was when um, I was invited to go to a Green Bay Packers game in Green Bay at Lambeau Field. Uh, it was the Packers versus the Eagles. And so if you know me, right, huge Eagles fan, and I'm going to this game with the former executive director of the Green Bay Packers and family, I found out that Green Bay Packers, Lambeau Field, is the number one place for an opposing team to watch the game. And as an Eagles fan, I couldn't believe how polite and nice people were. And part of that is Wisconsin, right? So everybody's nice and polite. But they, um, I was told that we love good competition because great competition makes for a good sport and a good game. And that's actually why we, why we watch is be, we watch for good games. So, I mean, strangely enough, the Eagles won that game. So I was happy, but I had to be a little reserved about it. But that to say, just because we're in competition doesn't mean we can't respect and admire one another and give to one another. So this is kind of the main point of this episode. This has been on my mind for a while, and I've really wanted to do this. I had this idea about two months ago, and I didn't know when I was going to kind of release it into the wild. But today's the day, Christmas Eve 2019, compliment a competitor. Hashtag compliment a competitor. And so what I want to challenge the Clarity Compressed community to do, I'm about to do it myself, is pick a competitor that you respect and give them a compliment on social media. So I will go first and compliment a competitor. I would like to compliment my colleague in the industry and competitor, Jeff Knoss from the agency Digital Hive in Syracuse, New York. I have immense respect for what you have built. You have built an amazing agency. You embody the entrepreneurial spirit. And when I see you all over town, giving back to the community, giving back to the school that you came from, and basically just being open-handed and, and serving people, it really is an inspiration to me. And I hope that my business can have an impact like that. So thank you for being a leader in that way. And hey, we're competitors sometimes. And that's cool because you make me better. And hopefully I make you better and the community as a result and the marketing world as a result and the business environment as a result can get better. Thank you. But either way, I hope that you follow that lead. I hope that you compliment somebody that you respect, somebody that competes with you but helps you be better. So that's it. Christmas Eve podcast, episode 98. We're going to keep it short and tight because you got presents to open. If you open presents, you got food to eat. And if you're listening to this later in the week, well, then you have food to go work off because you just put on five pounds, which you should have. So again, next next week, New Year's episode, uh, we're going to close out the year strong. Until then, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, uh, however you celebrate it. And thanks for spending a little time Christmas week with me and the Clarity Compressed audience. I hope you get out there and compliment a competitor and hashtag compliment a competitor and let's see if we can, you know, turn around some of this negative dialogue going on in our country and celebrate the beautiful things about business and the beautiful things about humanity and the beautiful thing about giving. See you next week. Yeah.